Is she assassinated? Yes! Yes! It's happening! I am disgusted. What's up guys, it's Tyrannosaur2 and welcome back to Pokemon Legends Arceus. In the last episode, we called the second last noble Pokemon, Electrode. Crack those knuckles. We are now entering endgame territory. My decks is mostly filled out. And now we gotta report back to the professor and meet Commander Komodo. Whoo! That freak Arceus is right there. If I took a stone and threw it, I would hit Arceus in the head. Tell me, is that not creepy? That God is just peering into your world. He's staring at you. He's staring at you right now. Get a life, Arceus. He's a pervert. Arceus is a giant pervert. Look, I could be peeing right here and he's staring at me. Even though I'm your son. That was my theory, that Arceus made me and I'm literally Arceus playing in his little region. It made sense until Ingo popped up. Now there's something going on with time. And it don't make sense because how could someone come from the future and craft a past that leads to that future. Where did that future come from in the first place? That's definitely the end of the game, isn't it? We're going up in that portal. That must be the end. Are Adamant and Erda really gonna see Arceus? Oh, mischievous. Hey, baby. Hey, little cute ass granny, grandpa. Granny, granny. <laughs> granny, look what you. Granny. My dumbass, that was rare, wasn't it? I did not handle Granny with proper respect. Bro, it's actually hilarious. They have both a statue of Dialga and Palkia. They knew what both of them looked like. In modern Sinnoh, they combined them. Modern Sinnoh knew nothing. These dudes have whole ass individual statues. By the way, if this is a statue of Koopas, right? What is this statue? What is it? Is it Licky Licky? Is it a Pokemon that no longer exists? It's Licky Licky. <laughs> it must be Licky Licky. Springy Mushroom. These are thousands of years old again. I'm sorry, I love the whole eeriness of how far back this stuff goes. It's so cool to me. All right, boys. 78 unreported data. Hit me, professor. Listen, I'm trying to make progress here. Pay me well. I've never been paid that much before. I'm putting a down payment right now. I've made 200 Gs. It's inventory time. I gotta up that inventory. A thousand. Hmm, almost. Oh, you quelled Lord Electrode? Splendid job as always, my boy. Let's be off to the village then. Time to report to Commander Commodore. Okay, what is the final noble Pokemon? Captain Commodore. I'm here with excellent news. I'm alive, bro. Hmm, this is disappointing. So Warden Melly believes that the frenzies of these Pokemon are some sort of trial set by Almighty Sinnoh. That is a good theory. You know, it's the Noah's Ark theory. But Arceus is kind of stupid. Like, it's a theory of pure power. Like, the only one being tested by this is me. I've said this earlier. It's not like each of the Wardens quelled their own noble Pokemon. It's not like everyone is solving their own problems. So if this is Arceus testing us, this can't be Arceus testing us. We cannot know if that is the case or not, but it does beg the question, why ever would this almighty Sinnoh drive the nobles to frenzy? Is it angered by something? Or does it seek to drive a wedge between people and Pokemon? Those are both good theories. I don't think he angry. I saw him. He gave me a phone, bro. He seemed like you in a good mood. Drive a wedge between people and Pokemon? Nah. He told me to go meet all the Pokemon. None of these should be true. Well, far be it from us humans to fathom the thoughts of Pokemon. And what is that space-time rift anyway? What caused it to open? Hmm. But you must be tired. Go on then, to the Wallflower. Get some rest while you can. Okay, so... I've instructed Benny to prepare you his finest potato mochi. Thank you, bro. I've only quelled four out of five nobles. Scaling perilous heights. Oh, that was a good one with the Sneasler. Sneasler! I'm sorry. I just like it. I had a thought and I lost it. I don't remember what I was gonna say. Dinner's on Commodo tonight. Eat your fill. It, it, who was it on otherwise? It's not on me. I don't get paid. What an enticing aroma. My appetite just went through the roof. Quite a change from the commander's usual preaching about tightening our belts until things grow more stable. Well, I for talk that our progress serving Pokemon has made gathering ingredients a less own errors or less dangerous task. It's almost like a fairy tale, isn't it? 
how you've fallen to us from the sky and gone on to help the people of Fusui so much. That's what my thought was. When did that rift open? Did it open like 10 seconds before I also came down? How long has Ar Arceus been perving on this world? Because that's got to be the creepiest thing ever. If after decades or centuries, as far as these people here go, of living in Hisui, that in that storm in the sky, suddenly something's happening to it. I feel like it just opened up. It did just open up. It all links together, Volo studying it. Indeed, taking on such perilous duties has earned you a great deal of trust, Thamo. It's like I always say, behavior is a mirror that reflects one's true nature. You let your actions do the speaking for you, Thamo, and the message is clear as day. It doesn't matter one whit where you came from. You're a part of the Survey Corps and Jubilee Village now. I'm part of neither of these. I'm gonna be the final villain of this game. I'm going to try to kill Silene and they're gonna have to save the war region from me. I'm just gonna go into my Arceus form. Damn, I just realized there's no like Platinum Clan. You know, you got the Diamond Clan who thinks it's all time in Dialga, Pearl Clan who thinks it's space, and Pokia. It's like a poor Giratina. This kind of goes back to Insurgents. We need like some Distortion World cult. I'm sad. I know it'll never happen. I'm sad now. No, don't be sad. This is a great game. The next day. Oh, just doing the same stretch I do every day. Ugh. Stretch your legs too, bro. Isn't it nice getting up early? Oh, hey, you two. Is it? It's not as if getting up early changes what you can do with the day. Yes, it does. It opens up possibilities, such as responding to Commander Commodore's invitation today in a timely manner. Well, I got that same invitation, and I had to wake up even earlier than you to run all the way here for it. Come on, no need to grouse so much over a nice little early wake up. They're so cute. The way they punch each other. Are you coming too? I'm sure we can all guess what the commander wants with us. I wish I could be the leader of my own clan. I would fit in so well with these two. Damn, what are those shoes he wears? Yes, do come. Galaxy Hall is quite close anyway. Okay, Erda, just because you asked. I don't know the way there. Couldn't we have hold, held hands? Captain Kamado, it's your three stooges. I mean, trusty steeds. You've now quelled the frenzy of four nobles. <laughs> okay, it's... I thought that was the name of a group. It wasn't easy. When word of these frenzies arrived from all over Hisui, I feared what would become of us. But here we are, already prepping to quell the final noble. Damn, who's the final noble? Dude, that portal just opened up, and these five noble Pokemon just got struck. This is a bad coincidence. This is a conspiracy. Yeah, who would have dreamed some stranger who tumbled out of the sky would be our, our salvation? Life never does stop surprising you. The only lord left to be quelled is Avalug, which lives in the Alabaster Icelands. Avalug! <sighs> He is also the largest of the nobles, according to what Erda told me. He a pearl man? Or he a diamond man? Your mission is to quell Avalug, the final lord. And perhaps in doing so, we may trigger some change in the space-time rift as well. Very true, I didn't even think of that. If each time we quell a noble, the energy goes back into the portal, then it will react once we clear them all. Possibly. Avalok may be the Pearl Clan's noble, but my clan and the Galaxy team will have to step up to resolve this, too, for the sake of a brighter future. Very good, Adaman. Then let us all meet in the cold reaches of the Alabaster Icelands. Until then, look at these two, bro. And good work, Komodo, getting us all on the same page. Getting them to work together. The slumbering lord of the tundra. Oh, oh. No matter how many of these frenzied Pokemon you may quell, the fact remains that you are a stranger to our world. No small number of people still regard you with suspicion and distrust. Bro, I don't even trust myself. The most you can hope for is to gain the trust of as many as possible. And to do that, you must prove yourself through your actions. And what have I been doing, bro? What have I been doing? Gosh, I gotta go pee so bad. Let me just go to the bathroom. Yeah! <laughs> is she assassinated? Yes! Yes! It's happening! I am disgusted. I am grossed out. This raunchy, sassy piece of crap sitting on her ass all day so mean and arrogant and strict 
the mean ant? The step substitute mother teacher? She suckers are scared of a rumple. You've lost. Oh no 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 no! We're getting a new captain. I can't believe that's why that Abra's there. Cause you're a freaking scaredy cat. What the frick? How is she captain of the Survey Corps? I'm sorry. Oh, fr what the frick? I hate her now. Even more, I didn't think it was possible. I hope you teleported her and she dies out there. I know your secret. I know your secret. Ahem. <clears throat> so. I'm gonna get a card to punch her. It's the only socially acceptable way to handle this. Right. Right in the right cheek. And then the left ass cheek. So, you're to survey the Alabaster Icelands next. This is the most treacherous climb you'll ever face in all of Hisui. And what's yours? Climbing out of your desk? It would not be an exaggeration to say that you might be the only one among the survey corps I can task with serving the Alabaster Icelands. Damn, it's deep dangerous. You know your orders. See your mission through. No, bro, I'm coming back with a gun. You are, you are not bossing me around anymore. You are not bossing me around anymore. I don't have data to show you. I'm not. I don't I have to need so many more points. She sucks so much. Benny, I mean, Baggin, I need inventory space. I'm in a terrible mood. 18,000, bro, can I have a discount? That's 10% of my whole money. Okay, guys, we're gonna buy four slots. Let's see how much this comes to. Yes, please. My dude, where does he come up with these numbers? From 16 to 23,000 now. You're charging me 23,000 for one inventory slot. Why am I even buying from the supplier? There should be other dealers who can give me a better deal. It's just weed. I mean, it's just inventory space. Sucker, where's Volo? Why does Volo never visit? He's the only one I like. Oh yeah, you wanted a mischievous. Guys, I hate Silent. Mr. Laventon. Mr. Laventon, I love you. And I love Akari. And I love Erizu. By the way, Erizu, right? So Erizu looks like Mars, right? And w look what I found out her name is. It's Erizu. Like Ares. Like the Greek version of Mars. Saka, that's Mars. That's 100% Mars. I love you, by the way, too. And last but not least, I love you, Irida. And I love you, Volo. Frick, bro. This is poly nanomers. What do you call that kind of marriage? So, where to make for Alabaster Icelands? Not you, Laventon. I don't know if... I don't want you to die. Not quite yet. I see. Of course, I'm all too aware of the injuries done to some of our own good people because of the frenzies of the other nobles. There seemed little choice but to intervene. But this Avalog out in the Alabaster Icelands hasn't harmed a soul as I hear. Damn, the most dangerous one but he hasn't hurt anyone. Does it really behoove us to go out of our way to subdue him? If Avalog's as great and mighty as they say, he could very well cause avalanches. Avalanches don't require any Pokemon's help. They occur perfectly well on their own, you know. I confess, I still have my doubts whether we should even be getting involved in this case. No damage has been done so far, but if we sent Thamel out there, we'll be putting him in danger of real harm. Laventon, the only person who cares about me. Legit! No one cares about me in this region, it hurts me so much. Kamuro just kind of, he just tells me you might die out there. Laventon, bro, will you be my best man to my five weddings? But if the Lord is suffering in its frenzy, like people say, then wouldn't it be kinder to quell it? There's simply so much we don't yet understand when it comes to the noble Pokemon. We don't know whether their frenzies truly aren't causing them to suffer, nor do we know why they enter these states in the first place, or if all this is connected somehow to the space-time rift. What is it, I wonder, that the commander hopes will come about from our quelling the nobles, or indeed from surveying any of the Pokemon of this land? What is it he hopes to achieve? Hmm, what does Kamada hope to achieve? Well, ultimately, the whole village is trying to put together the Pokedex. Laventon's on the front end, putting all the research data together. But overall, Captain Kamado seems to be trying to complete the Pokedex too. So he's just finding a way to coexist with Pokemon, yeah. Look, a way to coexist. I certainly hope so. Could you- nah. <laughs> you know a thought just went in my head. Could Kamado be evil? But how? Damn, he could be evil. I've never seen him do anything. 
If a man who can fight Pokemon turned out to be evil, that's over. What happens when he has Pokemon of his own? <laughs> Professor Rowan's ancestor being the evil villain? The goal of my research is to help build a future where everyone gets along with Pokemon. Good job, Lav. I like that. Professor Laventon? Ah, nothing to bother yourselves about. Doubtless. I'm just being a silly sausage. You've got a mission to carry out, haven't you, Tamo? Then we will support you in it. The best I can offer you now is another chance to practice your battle skills. I better not. Fine, I'll battle you, Akari. Akari of time. Akarini. I'm glad just to get the opportunity to battle you. The fact that I'm able to grow so much as a Survey Corps member and work together with Pikachu is due to you joining us. I just realized the vibes I'm getting. What if we have to leave at the end of this game? Then we really like a god who came down and solved everyone's problems and left. That's the mystery dungeon feel. Damn, she got three Pokemon? Why did you catch this thing? It'd be really sad if we had to leave the village. Sad for them. Imagine how useless they are. How did you get to level 46? Jeez, Akari. These are some actual pre-Elite 4 levels. Holy crap. I better not teach her how to turn that into a Star Raptor. You about to regret all this. Tiny, get her tiny, strong style rock slide. You can do this. Easy. Okay, here comes Pikachu. Level 47. Okay, quick attack won't do anything. Okay, not if you use it like six times in a row. Three times? I was joking! Akari, you ch- What? She just went four times! Four time Akari! She smashed me four- She smashed the freaking Grout four times! Unbelievable. That's it. I'm agile, ice sharding. You're gonna take a lot of damage, Akari. Can you be the ring girl and the bride? Okay, but well, we'll figure that out later. And I'm gonna strong style poison jab. It won't kill you. Just kidding, yes it will. There's something so natural about the sight of you and your Pokemon fighting together. Oh my god, guys, I'm from the modern world. About your mission in the Icelands, well, it will be a challenge. Be careful out there. As for me, I'll set off for Alabaster Icelands forthwith. See you there, my boy. Damn, I love that my options mattered. They had to talk with me here instead of going there. Yeah, I can't go there yet, guys. Oh, Silene. Silene. I am not letting her think of me as an 8 star. I need to get to 10 star as soon as possible. Tell me there's a good ending in this game. I don't care about saving the region. I want... Just look. Akari here. Silene in front, right? Close your eyes. How dare you? How dare you smack me? You see me? I mean, you feel me? I need it to happen. Okay, whatever. I'm reporting out. What? A mass outbreak? What is this? A mass outbreak of Ponyta? And a mass outbreak of Hapini? I will bite. Where does it show this? <gasps> An outbreak of Hapapis. Well, I'm on my way there. Ooh, <laughs> I got Sneasler. It's like I could just I could just climb. I'm going to feed this progly so much food. You see how it says one? Watch it, I'm gonna I'm gonna stuff it. Thanksgiving dinner, you'll thank me for this. Two? Nope. Progly twenty <laughs> Progly, you ready for dessert? You know what? Twenty-one. It freaking vanished after eating all my food. See, for a fat man like you, I must use the fattest ball I have. Frick. Oh, yeah, I, I probably crushed it. Huh? Clover? That was her? Hey, you, not one more step. You're still here? Seriously? You didn't even notice someone sneaking up on you? What an amateur. Now you face the middle sister of the infamous misfortunes. And this Clover plucks you. You're fighting me? Clover, you suck. The Bandit Clover. Clover, you terrify me. It's like her teeth are made up on, but they're real. She just keeps making this face. Here, let me show you. This is a problem. This is a problem, Clover. 
cover. I can kill you in one hit. I'm sorry. I don't know why you're fighting me. How cool, guys. The story, you can find it in different places. I don't get it. How did I lose? Uh, I can't believe you beat me again. I bet the people in the Galaxy team actually treat you like you're worth something. Oh, no, no, no. No, they don't. I'm with you on this. Let me join. Let me join the Misfortune Sisters. They treat me like crap. Teach me that. Teach me that. What have you left? She dropped something when she fled. That is the worst thing it could have been. The best thing could have been a love letter. But on five weddings is enough. Where's this mass outbreak of happenies? What the frick is the point of throwing balls? How does it not go in? Oh! Oh, you scared the crap out of me. Wait, you're still chasing me, true? Level 65? Um... You can do it, Tiny. You can catch the big scary man. Yeah, Tiny! Okay, here we go. Happini Island is over here. What's this crap about you set me up? Okay, what am I looking at, guys? This is the legendary Happini Island? What the frick? They're escaping the island since I'm here. Come back, guys. The reported Pokemon seems to be gone. I made them extinct. I caught them all. I caught them all so much. Look at its entry. I filled everything out. Well, that was cool, guys. Guys, remember this cave? We're going back in. I have to see what's up with these drawings. Now that I know there's some time travel mishap happening, and we know about the ancient man with the 10 Pokemon. Actually, 10 Pokemon, right? Are some of these those Hisuian Pokemon? Can we see an Avalug here? We don't. It's like Cresselia, whatever that is, Heatran, Darkrai? Or Arceus, Garatina, Basquiat Huh. It's some of the noble Pokemon. And then just some really weird Pokemon. And some of them are repeated. Man, okay, I gotta go deeper in this cave. And the cave ends. Bruh, I can't find any wild Luminion, so what if I just steal my Fanion and a Villian? Oh, there's a time space portal! But I filled my party with Luminion! What was why the rift gotta look like that? A freaking crack in in reality? Nothing can scare me. I've seen everything there is to That Carnivine is What's that? That Carnivine's having crap with the Alakazam. And by crap, you know what I mean. Guys, stop beating me up! No, okay? I'm not dying like this. What the freak a sleeping Oh! You killed me. You killed me. You killed me and took my beloved items. I will never fall for sleeping Mr. Mime again. I was so infatuated I died. I can't believe the two ways I died was to Arcanine and sleeping Mr. Mime Magneton combination. Well, meanwhile, after much training, the three Finians can evolve. What the hell is this? A talking Pokemon? Yeah, help me. Ah, uh, my dude, what is this? Is this the way? A way stay? Why, why is this Pokemon talking? Talk talk. You having fun? Far from it, help me. It's Professor Oak. How is he here? Help me. I'm fighting it. Thank goodness. I don't know if I would have survived that without you. No one told me there'd be a Pokemon that talks like people out here. What a fright. What? That was a request? Back where I grew up, folks often said that if you hear someone talk when nobody's around, it's not a ghost playing tricks. It's just a chat odd. Anyway, thank you for finding him. Oh, she's setting up a camp here. Oh! Oh, you He's trying to bite me! Stop it, I'm trying to kill- I'm trying to catch your brother! What? Oh, oh. 
You scared the crap out of me, fam. You're part of the survey corps, right? Help me out. It seems this Pokemon's so hungry that it can barely move. I tried giving it food, but it wouldn't take a bite. I don't know if it's being stubborn or what. It showed interest in plump beans, huh? I got, I got plump beans. Well, looky here. A bean cake. Cheetar saves the day again. Beep. Nope. This is adorable. Can I have it? I've quite taken a liking to little Piplup. And I don't think it's safe to let it wander around. I'll bring it back to the village and take care of it. Wow. She's like leagues above everyone else. Just the sheer fact that she's willing to be near a Piplup. It's been three hours. I have 93 unreported data. Go look at a professor. And you call me a random galaxy team member. You put Silene at the top of this crap. I will... F oh, I'm gonna hire six. I'm gonna hire all five wives. On wedding day, they all line... Silene's face, they all line up. As the hand goes... All five hands go through her. Oh, that would be so good. I got enough money to pay for the wedding. It makes me delirious, okay? Sitting here trying to fill the Pokedex. But look, I have... Tens on tens on tens. Tens on tens on tens. Oh, look who's graduated, Psybean. Psysheen. Cyclops. Psybeam. I graduated. I'm a ninth star, and I don't even want to go to you for your approval. Oh, little Pichu. I have orange berry for you. Stupid baby. Oh, I can finally get this now that I have Sneasler. Ooh, I found an upgrade. That means per there's Porygons in this game. How? How could there be Porygons in this game? Oh, great, guys. It's Krakatot Island. You found the mass outbreak that was reported. Oh, sure. Bro, it's a murder out here. I can murder all of them. It's never been this satisfying. Oh my god, I made them extinct. They're all gone. <laughs> They're all gone. Ooh, Gyarados. I'm gonna catch this Gyarados. Bow. What the frick, man? There you go. Creepy Chinese dragon. Now break out. You piece of crap. I will get closer. I will get to the other side of the falls. I can't. I have Basculesia now. Combo pack. I'm on my way, Gary. Gary, come home. <sighs> so where's that Gyarados? He's still far away. He's even further away here. Are you kidding me? I wonder what's on this side of the world. Oh. This is what you guard? The little spirit tomb? Oh! Oh! <laughs> Why? Are you kidding me? I am a good child. I will feed this massive blissy. Here you go. Nutrients? Oh, nutrients. I know that ain't its voice, but when it's that big, it is its voice. Oh, God, it's a demon monstering. I mean, chowing it down like a monster. Machop, this food is not for you. Bliss, you can kick that Machop in the face. Machop, you stole the food and pissed the Blissey off. Oh, my Lord, level 62. Yeah, I got it. Blissey just lives in a land surrounded by Machop and Machoke. What is it trying to do? Just get beat up. That's a real alpha right there. <gasps> There's an unknown here. Unknown Z? What letter is this man? We're gonna find out. It was an unknown G. Atop a waterfall of obsidian. Okay, that was an actual useful hint. All the other unknown hints are not useful. This one's literally at the top of the waterfall. In fact, I wanna ride this waterfall. Take me. Oh my god, what? This could kill me. Oh, this could kill me. That was amazing. Oh. Don't mind if I do. Oh, the magic carp. Magic carp, I have a special treat for you. We skyball you. Skumps. <gasps> that was aiming right for you. What the hell? Get me out of this camera angle. What? I, I don't want to play like this. I never realized Magikarp's the easiest Pokemon to catch in the whole game. How have I never gotten that spirit yet? Climb, Sneasler, climb. 
my favorite Pokemon in the game. It is so satisfying to use. Look, Sneasler, you found a spirit tool. Another. Oh! 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 Not where I want to deal with right now. Look what my party's filled with magic carps. Hey, Snorlax. I know you're hungry. There's some food. Oh, he runs. Find the food, idiot! Boy, you can't come here. What is that? My dude, stop. Oh, got him, boys. Got a Snorlax. I've also added three Magikarp to the party who now have enough experience to evolve. Oh, yeah. Oh. What's this? Dubious disc. I can get the Porygon's definitely in this game. Oh. What the frick? I found West Shallow. They were here in the Obsidian Fields the whole time? Hey guys! Bye! What the hell? I found a Mr. Mime and he set up a barrier! Mr. Mime Man... Like imagine Mr. Mime exists in the real world and some tribe is walking through the forest and sees that. Mr. Mime, I will be the person who changes history. You creep? I'll give you food. What the hell? What are you doing? You can't just go on a jog in the middle of nowhere? Finish eating. Enjoying that food, Mr. Mime? Enjoy this. What is this? They're sleeping, guys. Sleeping Mime Juniors. What the hell? Don't wake them up! Okay, my dudes. What? The village pastures are nearly full? <laughs> what a timing. Guys, hours later in the Obsidian Field Lens, I have unreported data. This is closer to like 110. I tried to clear as much as I could. Oh, and it seems you've now caught a considerable number of Pokemon in total. Damn, I've never seen him say that before. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Another box? Oh my god. <laughs> okay. I'm trying my best here. I'm on top of my homework. I think I've deserved going to Avalux territory now. The final place. How much can I get? 69? Bro, 69,000. Let's go. And let's see what our rank up is, even though I haven't ranked up already. 17? 8? Okay. We have to see what 10th star requires, but 2,500 points is massive. We are gonna go to the village and rank up. The village pastures are nearly full, so I have to start releasing some Pokemon. Cheese. Silene? Oh, I hate you so much. I don't have the energy to yell at you right now, but rank me up, lady. And be surprised this time. It seems you've made progress. You've earned yourself a start. Why does she have to be like this? Why does she have... What's, what's her problem? Like, who made you this strict? With this, you've officially attained the rank of ninth star in the Galaxy Expedition team. She gave me 10 rare candies. That's actual ass. 20 grit pebbles. How much more room? Oh! What the frick? Wait, and I got 2,500 points, right? You need to double all your points to go from 9 to 10. Well, we know we're never reaching it. We are never reaching 10th star. A slap in the face. What could she possibly give me? You know, I'm gonna get my own reward. Baggin, give me four more slots. 30,000? For one slot, dude? Fine. 40,000? You are so ass. How could he charge this much? 50,000. Oh, the days of paying 100 for a slot. You're kidding me. 60,000. I've been robbed dry. This man probably owns the whole village. He owns the whole- I can't even afford to upgrade again. $80,000, huh? $80,000? We live in a society. I'm out here grinding my ass and he's sitting here. What kind of magic do you have? He's monopolized the market. Look like little Erica CC. Hey, what's that Pokemon up there? What's its name? What's it do? Uh, Magikarp. Magikarp? Why is it called Magikarp? Is it a cool Pokemon? Is it strong? Can it fly? It's pretty cool. It's cool? Why is it cool? What part of it is cool? Oh god, I've told one lie and now... Tell me more, please, please! 
Okay. I have the Pokedex Sentry. You can have it. I know all about Magikarp now. I'm a Magikarp professor. It's now my turn to tell you something. Sanqua told me something in secret. That's the Karen lady. Sanqua said she made those Magikarp statues. How did she make those? But she said she really wanted to make a Gyarados statue instead. She said that Gyarados is super strong and cool and can even fly. And that Magikarp can become Gyarados. Okay, I, I've already learned about Gyarados, but you want me to show her? Oh, first, the village pastures are full. I need to release a bunch of Pokemon. Maybe it's time I sorted them. Let's see. Goodbye, guys. Release. I've released enough. What? Hey there, Damo. The Pokemon you released just now left a little something behind for you. That's fascinating. Hey, it's the Ghost Girl. By the way, Ghost Girl, look how many I've collected. 47. You proud? Oh, exactly 60 left. Since you've gathered five wisps, here's a little present for me. An oval stone? A rare candy? Come on. No, these suck. A dusk stone? Who's this for again? It's not Weavile, right? XP candy large? That's These are ass, man. Whoa! A steely? Boy, boy, boy! I have a freaking leaden ball for you! What the frick? A steelix! Oh, he looks so badass! Yo, Saka, come back! Please don't make me fight you. <gasps> they took him away! <gasps> There's a Gengar! What, man? Oh, let me have some of these sick Pokemon that are popped up. Did you just football player intercept my ball, bro? He's such a football player. No, bro, you can't tackle the defense. A razor claw? <gasps> Boys, what is that a hoodwood? Is that an alpha Eevee? Why? Why is there an alpha? Steelix is back. How did he come back? I'll give you my heaviest ball. You can have him too. No, Steelix, please don't go away. Did I get it? What happened to the. Hey! I'm being hunted. Where's my Steelix? Come on, man. The ghost of the Earth Ring will never leave me alone. That's horrible, guys. Well, that's 14 unreported data. I know it's not impressive, but I only came here for fun. Oh, I'm so broken. Oh, still 18,000? I can't afford another slot even with that. And watch the pitiful points I'll get. Baller. 300 points. We're never making it to 26,000. What the hell? I found a spirit tomb in the distortion. How is this possible? Only four left in this area? Whoa, Gengar! Gengar! Oh! Come one, come all! Hi! I got the Gengar! What? I sneak out a Gengar! No freaking way! Pikachu sleeping! This is sleeping Pikachu, guys! This is... This is dangerous, Pikachu. I'm gonna kidnap you so perfectly. I'm sorry. Oh, Steelix! Steelix is back! Please, let me get him this time. I got Yes! Oh, God, what? You spawned an Alpha Gengar and the tiniest chip. I mean, Gengar and Chippy. Look at tongue in the world. What? What the frick was that? Who did that? Who spawned near me and caused that? One of you two? Probably this dumbass over there. You're freaking kidding me! Two Chimchars? It's taken me generations to find just the one Chimchar. This is it, boys! I'm finally gonna get the Chimchar! I can't believe it. Space time distortion. Oh, bros, it's all lining up. <gasps> I've secured the bag. I've secured the monkey. Hey, Chimichangas! Yes, yes, get in the ball. Boys, secured. Security. Ooh, is that another one? Spare two. Guys, much later again, I have 99 data. Oh, jeez. I'm trying my ass off to get ahead before I go to the Alabaster Iceland. This has to be close to like 105 or something. I see you've got 97 Pokemon. Oh, Lord. Okay, see, it's just calm Pokemon. 
And yes, I hunted Pokemon for like seven hours this episode. What the frick? Boys, I've doubled my stock. Yeah, 111151. Look, boys. Steelix, Magikarp, Gengar, Gastrodon, Licky Licky. Boys, I'm so proud of myself. 15? Oh, yeah. That's a lot of points, just a long way to go still. Alright guys, it's time to head to the Alabaster Icelands. Let's freaking go. I've been looking forward to this for the past few hours. Now we can finally go. We finally go into an icy place. Whoo! This is Sinnoh. Oh yes, this is the ancient version of Snow Point and everything. What if the Regigiga structure exists in a different form? Laventon, bro, you gotta dress better than that. I gotta dress better than this. Oh, <laughs> my word, it's rather chilly here, isn't it? Glad to see you made it safe and sound in any case. Very few venture to these alabaster Icelands. Apart from Tao Hua, leading the Odd Supply Corps excursion to gather materials. Huh. So there's someone in the galaxy team called Tao Hua. But the Survey Corps, of course, must go anywhere that Pokemon are found. From what I gather, Ice Peak Arena, where you'll find Avalok, is rather far off, I'm afraid. Doubtless, this mission to tackle Avalok will be another dangerous one. Learn all you can from Erda and Adam and try to keep yourself safe. Damn, this is the culmination of everything. Both team leaders are gonna help us. Damn, all brisk out here, isn't it? How aren't you freezing? At least the game knows. Freezing? I'm practically sweating. Impossible. Impossible. She's not gonna wear a coat? If you think this is bad, just wait. This is nothing compared to where we're headed. You know, I'm beginning to think the problem between us isn't a Diamond Clan thing or Pearl Clan thing. It's just a you and me thing. We'll never see eye to eye on anything, will we? I don't see how we could, as long as you and your clan cling to your vision of an almighty Sinnoh that reigns over time. Forgive my bluntness, but if such a being even does exist, it's certainly not almighty Sinnoh. Ooh. Now both teams are starting to acknowledge the other side could possibly exist. Yes, yes, believe what you want. Just tell us where we have to go. We're headed to see my teacher, and he's only ever found in one place. Which is? You're talking about that Garrick fellow, right? Where do we find him? At Avalok's legacy, of course. Where else but a great mass of ice could I have meant when I said we'd be headed somewhere even colder? Damn, she used to this place. That's kind of crazy. Because even the Survey Corps don't come here. This is like restricted. Too cold, too dangerous. She learned here. And she's used to this place. That's crazy. Where else indeed? Ready to go, Thamel? Sure, stomp off without me. This is why I can't stand people who only care about whether time is passing them by. See you at Avalok's legacy, Thamel. Take care on your way. How is she surviving, bro? Okay, so this is our team right now. Kulava and Crobat are our two strongest, and the bottom four Pokemon we've been trying to evolve. And three of them are noble candidates. But I don't know how to do it, so we're just gonna go for it, and I'm gonna try my best. Ooh, boys. Look at this scary-ass place. Again, I just wanna give you guys the thought exercise, right? Avalug. Snorunt! Avalug, a Pokemon introduced in Gen 6? Secretly existed in Sinnoh. In ancient times. Is it a Gen 6 Pokemon or is it a Gen 4 Pokemon? Isn't that so cool to think? But you know, I wonder, when it comes to Pokemon like Snorunt, Magmar, do you consider them Gen 1 and 2 or do you consider them... Like, how do you not consider it Gen 4? Holy crap. I can't even go down there. You know, because Magmar would be found equally in Kanto and Sinnoh. And in fact, in Sinnoh, we can evolve even further. Almost makes you feel like it's actually a Sinnoh Pokemon too. I love thinking of stuff that way. Damn, man. We really have to climb up this crap. Oh, well, I thought you are an item, bro. So we actually have to cross this freaking ravine and make it to the other side. So we have to go all the way around? I have something else I want to try. Let me just climb this crap. Yeah, my boy. Cheat. Aw, eight bombs. That's not very exciting. No one cares about eight bombs. Oh, there's nothing up here. Is there? Oh, God. Look how freaking high up I am. Oh, shoot. <gasps> there's something up here. She wow, really? You wouldn't just let me... I'm gonna... Don't die. Oh, it, it is blocked off. What a cuck, bro. Wait, I can go down here. 
Oh, boys. Is that a freaking crowbat? Don't do this to me. What have I done? Yo, there's actually a whole place here. Icebound Falls. Hey, dumbass. Dummy. Get this sucker. Why is he so hard to get? Ooh, am I gonna get closer? We are right here. How sad is this, guys? My second strongest Pokemon has always been a little baby Zubat I trained from the start. And what do you know? What do you mean? It's like I got you. How will it just bounce off? What's the point? What is that walking around down there? Why does it look like a freaking ice chimchar? What is that crap? What is that? What the frick? It looked like an ice chimchar, man. I can't figure out what that could possibly be. And also, I hate this crowbat with a freaking passion. Finally, bro. You better just get in there. Get in there! Thank you, piece of crap. The sucker's the hardest thing to catch in generations. I wanna go see what the freaking guy is, but I gotta go on, man. We'll, f we'll unmask the chimchar another day. For now, let's actually go where we're supposed to. Okay, so we gotta cross the ravine, right? Let's cross it. Can I just climb down and climb back up? I can. Well, this seems like an easy solution. Boys. Damn, this might be the place where we get the braviary. Once we get the music. I've heard this theme. This theme is goaded. This theme is sick. This is that end game final place music. Yo, pork? Pork, I found you after all these years. I'm gonna catch your daddy first. What do you what would you even do? Okay, you found me. Now what? What did you do? What did you even do? Okay, yeah, let's fight. What you gonna do? He tricked me last time! You freaking tricked me! He made it seem like you can't do crap! You freaking woolly mammoth! God, I'm gonna feed little Tiny so much! Tiny loves pork! Anyhow, as I was saying pork, big fan! Super big fan! Yes, this is the end game music, guys! Poor cut. See, look, swine nubs are here. Gen 4, kind of. But I guess the whole thing with generations, it doesn't necessarily mean it just belongs to that region. It's just the region it's associated with because maybe it was first spotted there, you know? It's less about what region owns it and more of just who discovered it first. It's discovered in Sinnoh. We call it a Sinonian Pokemon. Oh, God. Ah, uh, damn, that's a high ass Glalie. I never seen a Glalie with eyes that red. This man was born to be an alpha Pokemon. He was born with the biggest blunt in his mouth. Hey, boys! No! He's... What would the head do, huh? Damn, weed bread, huh? Level 53, guys. This is no joke. Bang James! I got myself a head for my snowman. I want a Pokemon. Oh, frick. It's the Obama Snow. Damn, maybe Candace's cousin has been here. Oh, God. I hope I can't freeze here. Hey, my boy. Frick, does everyone have to witness me? Hey, son. How are you doing, son? Hey! You don't get to do that, okay? I've kidnapped your son. We're on even terms now. I did you a favor. I know you don't want to raise that man. Are you freaking kidding me? Why would Stantler be here? Stantler? Don't you have anything better, bro? Freaking stay with the word ears. The freaking first ass noble Pokemon and Stantler's again here. I have no space again. No matter how much money I spend, guys, I'll never have enough inventory space. I have no more money, too. How much further off to go? Damn, we're right there. Let's just travel along. Enjoy the beautiful view. Is there an ice Burmy? What could be in this tree? Ew. Bruh, these Pokemon are all way too strong. Why is this happening? I was murdering all the Pokemon before I came to this place. Oh god, Paruglies are here too, I imagine. Y'all can survive with your fat ass coat. That's a compliment. I got some birds outside that keep staying by my door and they're fat, bro. But they here in the winter. They're in the winter with snow all around them, but they're not shivering. They're fat and smart. Look at all the layers I gotta wear. 
Baby, if you keep showing me your ass, I will throw a ball at it. Even though I don't even need you. Stadler, you will never. You'll never make me catch you. Run, boys! He's gonna catch us. No, bro. No one's aiming for you. There it is. That's the freaking Avalog crap. Are we meeting Avalog? Oh shoot! Are we not getting? Whoa! <gasps> Huh? There's a whole new Sneasel? Why are you sitting down? Your arch nemesis cousin is coming. Bro, I thought Sneasel came from you. Bro, don't get scared. These Pokemon are way too strong. I got no time for y'all. Here we go, Adamant. Oh, Bergmite. What's good, Bergmite? Don't be mad, Bergmite. I'm here. What the frick? You don't have to protect your brother. Yeah, we got ourselves Bergmite. See, these have th these are normal Bergmite, right? Bro, there's a whole Sneasel. What is this? Chocolate? Crunchy salt? Frick yeah. I have to. Once I eat the crunchy salt. There's Jaeger. What's his name? Yer Yerson. His name is Yerson. Yerick. 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 Boys, look at me. I'm good. What's up, Garrick? You look like Josuke. Except backwards. Is he someone I know? Is he Koga? Koga don't got blue hair. Yo, he looks sick. This your teacher? Why he look like Bruno's like uncle? In a weird way. Well, that was a real slug. Fighting through those miserable icy winds to reach this desolate bit of nowhere. Well done, us. This gentleman is Avalog's warden. And my most honorable teacher, Garrick. It just goes to show, bro. The, the clan leaders are not the top dogs. They're just the people overseeing it. So show some respect, Adam, man. Let's begin with some proper instructions. Dude, I know your name. It's Garrick. I'm Garrick. I serve as one of the Pearl Clan's wardens. And you must be Tamo, right? Not of the Galaxy team. Bro, the Pearl Clan is stacked. Just look. They got this man who must be the strongest warden. They got a freaking time traveler. And they got the level-headed genius, Paulina. Who actually knows how to raise Pokemon and didn't force the Growl to evolve. Meanwhile, what the Diamond Clan got? Got. Freaking that dude. That dude keeps making the scrunched up face. Diamond Clan's ass. Diamond Clan's only saving grace is Iskin. And I don't know how those words just came out of my mouth. But I like Iskin. You must be down right of the Diamond Clan. Of the Galaxy team. Look, this sucker is so cool. He tied his pearl hoodie around his waist. And in the freezing cold. The pearl clan a bunch of goofs. Answer me this, would you? On what grounds do you come here seeking to quell Lord Avalok? No, I wasn't commanded to. Shut up. I don't care what Rowan's dad says. He's in a frenzy. I'm here to calm him down. That leads to my next question. What is wrong with him being frenzied? You got me there, bro. It seems like the Pokemon want to be saved and are happier once we do. But we don't know that. I don't know. Then I have another question. Setting aside any orders, what is it your heart tells you to do? My heart tells me to not quell him. Ah, uh, forget it. We'll say I want to quell his frenzy. Obviously, they need to be saved. Our mighty Lord of the Tundra, Avalok, has done nothing to trouble any person or Pokemon. I should, I should have picked the other option. I'm sorry, Garrick. Sir, please try to keep your cool. For now, indeed, Avalok's causing no trouble. But aren't we also duty-bound to free our people from living in fear that such a colossal Pokemon might begin to wreak havoc at any moment? We are. Damn. How did he grow his facial hair like that? He shaved his chin, his beard, and left some neck crap. And it looks cool. We are. There's certainly some logic to that. But if that is what you hope to accomplish, then we must judge whether this child is up to the task. Who cares about the grandstanding? Let's get to battling. Please let me battle your Pokemon and not you. Let's not. <laughs> Let's start. I don't want to fight him, dude. <laughs> My m What has he done? What have you done? I walk a lonely road, the only one. My musculature is as hard and unyielding as ice. Think you can break through? Why are you doing this? How many Pokemon are you gonna send at me at once? Oh, he got the sister brother combination. Ew! Level 24? Don't you respect your sister? Alright, I'm gonna die here, so I might as well just... 
poison jab. Wow, that did a lot. Bro, this man. I can survive that. Yeah! I did it, guys. I can survive that too. Bro, I can't believe there's another sneeze. Oh, come. Nice. Bro, I need to see what that sneeze was about. How did you guys go so many times? I didn't even use strong style. Frick, my girl, it's dead. Maybe I'll use Voltorb. Yeah. No, it's smart. He's not a grass type. This is a, a genius move. Watch, I'll use Thunder because Voltorb never misses. Bruh, these unevolved Pokemon can't do crap. It's on you, Scyther. The game got so high leveled out of nowhere, bro. If I can't evolve these Pokemon, I'm screwed. Here we go. X Scissor Glalie. This will take you out. Easy. And Aerial Ace Frostlass. That's so sad. Growlithe, Voltorb, and Sneasel all died. Outstanding. I'm tough as an iceberg, but you smashed me through and through. Is that what happened? I suppose you all can get on with it now. This one's alright. Thank you, sir. Some may still have their doubts about a stranger like Damo, but I'll vouch for him. Then if you insist on quelling Avalog's frenzy, you'll want to claim some of that eternal ice he likes and bring it to my lord's seat. Good luck. Eternal ice, is it? For that, you'll have to be able to fly, which means you'll need braviary. Who got braviary? Long story short, you've got to seek out a young lady named Sabi. Tell the long story long. You're not saving any time if we wasted puzzling out what you mean. But fine, listen up. This eternal ice stuff can be found atop Avalog's legacy here. They named the place after Avalog? Is this an Avalog behind you? But to get there, you'll need my clan's help. Not even a Sneasler can climb the surface, let alone a person like you or me. You're going to have to approach it by air, with Braviary's help. Garrick once managed to climb nearly to the top of Avalog's legacy, I'll have you know. Garrick, how? Sneasel got six feet claws. How can Sneasler not climb up? He says he made it to within six feet of the top. Might makes right, or at least height. What does that mean? And uh, about Sabi, how do I put this? Even when she's not flying with Braviary, she's got her head in the clouds. She's high. Well, you'll understand once you meet her. Head towards Snow Point Temple, and you'll probably come across her sooner or later. What? Sabi! Sabi! I was gonna meet you at the cool place! Sabi, you're tiny! What the frick? I've seen her somewhere. Where have I seen this lady? My clairvoyance told me that I'll lead you on a chase. Think you can reach me? Not without your bird. Give me the bird first. I see what you mean about Sabi. Sabi. Who knows how he said it. But why would she be up there? Seems you better focus on- Stop it! Pursuing Warden Sabi. I will- Like teacher, like student. They both just showing as much skin as possible. And let me focus on my workout while I still can. Did she do these do these workouts too? Damn, look at these three strong ass dudes. And the four strong ass dudes. She's gonna definitely make me chase her to Snowpoint Temple, isn't she? Actually, hold up. I got the razor claw. I can evolve my Sneasel. Let's go evolve Sneasel. Yeah! Yeah, my boys! We vile! It's the cousin of Sneasler! God damn, Weevil, you so short! I, I gotta heal Weevil. At least I freaking got Weevil, bro. The team is so weak for some reason. Go coming to this Avalug place made the entire wild Pokemon and trainers way too strong. Look at the size difference, boys! No, put the Sneasel back down. Insane! I'm your cousin! Why are you looking down at him? I'm your cousin. I'm your, and you're my big sis. This is kind of adorable. Okay, and last thing we need to do is I'm just gonna evolve Scyther into Scizor. I'm pretty sure we can't. I have some other stones though. Dawnstone. <gasps> Firestone on Growlithe! Boys, we have to do it. Tiny! Oh, boys. I got this. Zui and Arcanine. I evolved both of them. What about Voltorb? Thunderstone? 
Frick. I guess Voltorb evolves like with a certain move it must learn or something. But even. This crap, Black Augret, a glassy black stone, it's loved by a certain Pokemon. Finally got it into a cleaver. Oh hell no. Oh that's my team. That cleaver is tiny. Oh, say hello guys. Alright, my dudes, I'm gonna head it there. Go on and shank that like button. 2k likes. We upload this again and we are gonna go to Snow Point Temple. All of it. Guys, my team is so stacked. Look at all these freaking cuties. I'm not even talking about Irida anymore. Alright, see you on the next video. Take care. Family. Uh, this is the sound of my alchemy The greatest success for all those who fell for me I always respect the friends who wish well for me And live until the end and die Old time will tell for me But I ain't going anywhere, believe me